A panic swept over me as Cheryl entered the kitchen. Something smells good, said Cheryl, dropping a couple of heavy-looking travel bags on the floor. Hi, mother. She smiled, giving mother a kiss on the cheek. Hi, Pete. She said, turning her attention to me. Hi. I yelped, petrified, wondering if she had any idea as to my punishment. Your timing is perfect, Cheryl. Said mother. Supper is just about ready. You sit yourself down and I'll serve. Cheryl pulled out a chair and sat herself opposite me as mother served supper. I said as little as possible whilst mother and Cheryl chatted about university and such. After a momentary silence, Cheryl gave me a puzzled look and said, Hey, isn't that my t-shirt Pete? Um. Was all I could muster before mother butted in. Ah yes. Said mother to Cheryl. You know I said I'd grounded him when he got expelled from school. Yes. Said Cheryl, giving me a disapproving look, before turning her attention back to mother. Well. Mother continued. I caught him climbing out of the front window after I specifically told him he was grounded. So I took his hi-fi and CDs off him as punishment so he decided to listen to the music on his computer instead. Cheryl gave me another disapproving look. I hung my head in shame, knowing what revelation was coming. So I decided his room was out of bounds and moved him into your room, and to stop him from climbing out of the windows he's been wearing your clothes ever since. That was almost two weeks ago. Mother added, before continuing her meal. Cheryl took a sharp intake of breath when mother delivered the punch line. I wanted the floor to swallow me up. A grin swept across my sister's face. You've been wearing my clothes? She asked. I nodded regretfully. Ah, uh, was all I could say. Which ones? She quizzed. Well he's wearing your old school uniform during the week and he can wear a skirt or dress of his choosing at the weekend. Said mother on my behalf, that's the current arrangement anyway. She added. Cheryl gasped. Well let's have a look then. She insisted. By this time I'd finished my supper, so I had no excuse but to comply to her request. I shyly stood up and stepped around the table so my sister could see me wearing her short black skirt along with her old school shoes. Cheryl laughed out loud. Fantastic! She said, before bursting into laughter again. You've got better legs than I have. And you've shaved them too. Muum. Can I go to my room please? I asked, blushing. My room? You mean? Corrected Cheryl. No. Said mother. You have to clear up in here first. You've got him doing the chores then? Asked Cheryl. Oh yes. Replied mother. He cleans the kitchen each night. He washes all his, uh, your clothes by hand and spends Saturday bottoming the rest of the house. Really? Asked my sister, obviously shocked. All part of his punishment. Isn't this all a bit hard on him? Asked Cheryl in a softer tone, feeling sorry for me. Well, he got expelled from school, he disobeyed me numerous times and I'm the one having to pay one eight per hour for a private tutor in the hope that we can salvage his education. No, I don't think it's hard on him at all. Both Cheryl and I blurted, 18 pounds an hour. Yes. Said mother. I'm paying over 500 a week to try to get him through his exams. I had no idea mother was having to fork out that much for Mrs. Barnes. It was obvious I'd have to try my best to make it up to her. Cheryl changed the subject. Hey, you should make him wear that horrible frock granny bought me years ago. Do you think it would fit him? Yes it does. Said mother. He wore it last Saturday when granny visited. Cheryl's eyes almost popped out of her head when mother told her this. She was obviously not being serious. It was horrible. I mumbled. Go and get the photos, Peter. Said mother. They're on my desk. Oh I can't wait to see this. 
exclaimed Cheryl, grinning from ear to ear. Do I have to? I moaned, wishing the attention would shift away from me and my clothes. Well she'll see one eventually anyway. Granny has one of them framed on her mantelpiece. She's very proud of it. Stated mother. Defeated, I went to the study to get the 8 inch by 10 inch color glossy photos and handed them to Cheryl on my return. Oh you look gorgeous. Grinned Cheryl as she looked at each one. Oh and look at his shoes. I was too embarrassed to reply, so I cleared the table and began doing the washing up. Mother and Cheryl retired to the lounge. 